Uh, please, I have to ask to switch off your camera and microphone to share a very good experience. Rebuilding a better world is uh, the first European distance agro education activity with the Nobel laureate Mohamed Yunus after the COVID-19 emergency. Uh, the online course has been really successful. And uh, um, uh, the video of the previous three sessions, really interesting, are now online on the YouTube channel of the University of Basilicata and soon also on uh, the uh, channel youtube channel of the uh, city of peace foundation so you can use them for educational activities and studies also this session will be recorded and will be on the Unibus youtube channel uh, many thanks to the professor yunus and to all the people that cooperated to carry out this event especially to the responsible of the Yunus social center of basilicata firenze urbino Venezia and Bologna, and especially to the UNUS Center of Dhaka. Uh, I have to thank, uh, in particular way, uh, to Zinat Islam and Lamia Morshid for their support. Today, we will, have, uh, we will have a discussion about the networks of the social business that are working all over the world, and especially in Italy. Uh, we will start with Zinat Islam, Relation Manager Academia uh, Network of the Unus Center, and Shiab Quader, International Project Manager of the Unus Center. Uh, they will talk about Unus Social Business Center Network. Uh, the experience of the social business in Italy will be explained uh, by the representative of Italian Unus Center of Bologna, Firenze, Rubino, Venezia, and Basilicata after. And after, uh, there will be at the end two uh, really interesting speeches. The House for Peace and Experience of an Environmental Sustainability for Human Rights with uh, the architect Mario Cucinella and Enzo Pursio, the CEO of the City of Peace of Foundation, and uh, Father Enzo Fortunata, the direct, Fortunato, the director of the press room of the Sacred Convent of Assisi, will uh, uh, talk about the new approach to the economy. Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, please, to avoid the, to disturb the conference, switch off your microphone and camera. And if you have some question, please don't use the chat, but send an email to info at ctops.it. And I will invite to open the microphone at the end if there is, will be enough time. Now, I'll give the floor to the uh, director of the University of Basilicata, uh, uh, Giuseppe Romaniello. Please, uh, Giuseppe, can you switch on your microphone and camera? Thank you so much, Valerio. Thank you to everyone. Good afternoon. Just uh, a brief welcome and, uh, a, and arrivederci very soon after this uh, last online meeting. As proposed in the seminar planning phase, it will be very important to do immediately with the managers of the Italian uh, uh, Union Social Business Center and uh, the stakeholder in this uh, uh, part participant in this uh, uh, meeting a final evaluation about this experience and think together a sort of planning for the next activities of the Italian network of the Social Business Center. In the same way, my proposal is a, an invitation to collaborate between the Italian and local stakeholders. We can build together an active network to put the social business as the center of regional and national development uh, dynamics. We can image and propose planning and uh, financial tools to support social business in uh, our social and economic system. We can work together to propose ideas and solutions to, to make in every region, first in Basilicata, I hope, a new model for uh, an inclusive uh, and sustainable development in coherence with, with the 
uh, what previewed in Agenda 2030. Uh, thanks to all the speakers uh, of, uh, for their contribute of ideas, proposals and experience. Many thanks to Valerio and uh, all the, uh, the, the person of the uh, City of Peace Foundation for the hard work for organizing this cycle of online conferences. Thanks to Professor Yunus for his first so inspiring speech and a good work to everyone. Thank you to the University of Basilicata. Uh, with uh, the support of the university, we made a lot of work and uh, we are going to plan uh, some other activities in the future. So now I give the floor to Zinat Islam, Relation Manager, Academia of Network. Uh, uh, of the UNOS Center of DACA. Please, Zinat, can you uh, switch on your microphone and camera? Yes. Hello, everyone. Good evening from Bangladesh. Uh, my name is Zinat Islam. I'm the Relationship Manager, uh, Academia Network at UNOS Center. Uh, today, our session is on the UNOS Social Business Center Network. And for this, I've pre prepared a small presentation, which I'm going to play now. Can everyone see the slides? Can you see the slides? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Um, yes, yes can. fine. <laughs> Uh, first, I want to start by thanking everyone for organizing this uh, wonderful four-session course. Um, uh, thank you, a big thank you to the University of Basilicata, the City of Peace for Children Foundation, our Italian YSBCs, our Unicenter Grameen colleagues. Um, it's really wonderful to get everyone together and get into this discussion to talk about um, the current crisis and how to overcome how we should shape our future so um i really appreciate everyone who has come together for this um, and i hope we can continue on with more activities uh, forward so as you know today's session is on the uno social business center network i'm sure many of you are familiar with what it is uh, what a wise bc is but for those who are not familiar um just to say a wise bc or a, a uno social business center is a hub for social business in universities across the world following the principles of nobel laureate professor mohammed yunus uh, wise bcs are set in collaboration through agreement between uno center and the university with the aim of spreading the concept and practice of social business among the university students and researchers. So this is what a YSBC is and um, some of the activities a YSBC um, does or can do are to create academic programs on social business, to engage in research, action research, to make to produce publications on social business, to organize workshops, seminars, uh, social business design labs, social business competitions, uh, to provide consultancy and advisory services to outside businesses who may be interested in social business, uh, to arrange uh, student internships, exchange programs, and volunteering. So if your YSBC is currently doing these activities, please participate in them. If you want your YSBCs to uh, organize such activities, get in touch with your YSBC directors and organize such initiatives. Um, I think one of the follow-up of this, um, this course can be organizing perhaps uh, social business competitions. Maybe the Italian YSBCs can get together and have a social business design uh, social business design plan competition for students. I think that may be a really interesting um, initiative after this. Um, so far, we have in our network 83 YSBCs in 32 countries. Um, here is a list of some of the YSBCs. You can find the full list with the names um, in our social business pedia, which is kind of like the Wikipedia for social business. It has um, Professor Yunus's articles, uh, definitions of social business, and F uh, there's a, a frequently asked question booklet on YSBCs if you want to know more about what um, our 
our YSBCs, how to establish a YSBC, what the YSBCs are doing, etc. Uh, we have five YSBCs in Italy, and we have speakers from that those YSBCs today. So this, I, I'm really thankful to have everyone on board. Uh, thank you again for organizing this and bringing everyone together and strengthening the network. Um, so uh, again, coming back to today's uh, topic of discussion, our YSBC network, I think we can look at some of the, uh, we can think and discuss about what our YSBC network can do uh, during the COVID-19 crisis and beyond. Uh, it would be really wonderful to have your ideas um, and opinions if you share it with us, share with your family, your friends, discuss what you think can be done, what should be done. Um, if you had, I hope you had a chance to read the um, op-ed professor um, uh, which was published in a lot of newspapers. Um, uh, we have an Italian version and, of course, the English version also. Uh, there's a link on the slides if you have not had a chance to read it. Uh, do read it. Do let us know. There's an email address here if you want to send in, in your opinion. Uh, do you, what do you think of Professor Eunice's vision, how he can make it better, your ideas? Um, also, the, the other important um, activity, I think, for the academic community would be the approach of the academic community, you know, towards how should education be shaped, how should research be shaped, how should healthcare research be shaped in light of this uh, current situation. We know that um, our uh, whatever we have done in the past has not resulted in um, good in the present, like our uh, negative consequences so how do we really shape them to bring about good for the future so these are some of the activities i think we can think of as the ysbc network um finally i would like to share some of the events that uh, we had planned for this year but unfortunately um due to the crisis the social business day which we have every year was supposed to be on uh, june um, this year uh, in uh, Munich, but unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we were unable to, or we, we will not be able to have it physically, but there will be an online version. So um, I, I really hope we can have all of you join in it. We will sh soon share the details on our social business media, also through our email, and it would be wonderful to have you on board. Uh, we also uh, have uh, planned the Social Business Academia Conference, which is scheduled for uh, November. November 5th and 6th. Um, it is supposed to be held in Colombia, but again, with the unpredictable nature of this pandemic, um, we, we don't know if we would really be able to have it physically. But of course, if it doesn't happen, we'll have an online version. So uh, what the uh, Social Business Academia Conference is, uh, it's um, um, it's where researchers, students uh, present their academic papers on social business and other related areas. Uh, you will be able to find more details on it um, through the link uh, there is on this slide. So please come forward, um, send in your papers for the conference, and uh, I really hope um, we can take this further and continue through many more initiatives in the future. So uh, that is it for me from now. Um, Thank you so much, uh, Zinat. Uh, now I give the floor to the uh, Shiab Bokader, International Project Manager of the Unis Center. Thank you, Fondazione. Uh, buon pomeriggio, my friend from Italy. Hope you are doing, doing well. Uh, I'm saying hi from Bangladesh. Uh, it's a, I'm sure you know where we are at. We are currently going through a big cyclone in our area. It's a huge cyclone. We haven't heard had this cyclone in for, for 10 years now. So if you see me, a, a big rush of water coming in, don't be scared. I might be down on, this, on that side. But uh, I'll have, I have a br uh, brief presentation as well from my end. Let me just share it with you very quickly. I'll be talking about, uh, I heard a couple of the sessions before this. I was a part of the Professor Yunus session as well a couple of uh, days ago. Uh, so, so I, I just put forward a, a list of follow-up activities, like what could we do do after this, after our session is over. Like, what are the activities can we do to follow up our the movement uh, of social business in Italy? So, a couple of things comes to mind. We have a lot of works. We had a lot of workshops coming in, and most of the workshops we had 
uh, we had visitors and speakers from high profile universities like you guys and we had professor Yunus, who is also a vip who's coming in to talk but we haven't had any uh, uh, any commitments or any thoughts from the grassroots level or from students as well so we were thinking like after this uh, 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 workshop is over maybe we can continue the talk we can continue the good work at universities at the YSBC that we have and also at the neighboring universities from our YSBCs and we can also uh, take take on the talk of social business and the benefits of it to high schools high schools that that is residing near the universities or in any other cities that you provide and the third part is we can also do a grassroots community movement we can organize with social workers and volunteers and talk about the gospel of social movement and the benefits of it post corona phase in italy and in the global scale and after this uh, so the student led workshop can be a very crucial idea if you want to spread the message of social business secondly we can also focus on academic research that specifies on social business so when we already did an academic research specifically we are currently doing it in colombia and in thailand as well our ysbc in thailand which is at ait bangkok they are leading the efforts and in Colombia, ECC University and pretty soon Exxonado University will be doing it as well. So we were hoping that uh, our good friends uh, from the Italian universities would like to start or kickstart some sort of academic research with, 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 through which the Italian businesses can get inspiration to do more social business. So any social business uh, from an Italian perspective, taking into account the European context, this can be coordinated ideally by the YSVCs or any other think tanks as well. So if you want to taking the effort, we from UNU Center can coordinate with the global YSBCs from our end and let that marriage happen. And similarly, the YSBCs that is conducting the research, be it in uh, Colombia or uh, Thailand, Bangkok, we can also have that coordination thing happening centrally. And the third is social business funding. We are talking about a lot of good ideas. Uh, our uh, speakers who are very uh, uh, acumen in, in these areas will be talking after us. So where does the funding come in that can also be a quick question so one thing can be looked at is the impact investment i don't know if the impact investment is is it very big in italy right now compared to the other countries i don't know i think it's not going that well in eastern european countries but we can always start and in, if impact investment is not that big right now in italy we can al always mobilize the existing financial sector and encourage them to invest in social business that is where again ladies and gentlemen the investment in social business research comes into play so if we have good strong research in social business we can use that to influence the financial advisors and the financial invest investors to mobilize into this sector and we can also i know italy has been suffering from a lot of high unemployed unemployment rate back in 2012 when i was reading case studies i heard that italy had was suffering from two digit unemployment rate hopefully it has improved now but we can always promote social business uh, as a means to entrepreneurship. Like if you're an entrepreneur, you don't have to be worried about being employed because you are your own business and you are helping other people in your community to gain employment. So that can be another pro promoting agenda. And fourthly, we can talk about innovations. So one of our YSBCs who is based in Thailand, they have started this social, fi social fiction challenge. So they are basically doing a, uh, it's more of like a con uh, competition. So you have to imagine a world uh, after this pandemic is over and how would that world look uh, for you from your own personal perspective. You might say, I'm looking at a world, world where there is no gun violence or where, the, where there's no epidemics or where, they, where, they, where the local population have access to general health care. People have access to uh, safe water. People have, kids have access to education. So you, you imagine an idea and you draw a picture about it. I can... Uh, follow and uh, share a website which I have opened right now. If you if you have some free time, you can look at it. It's called junusthailand.org new uh, slash new reality. So they have a small video here. We have uh, a background on Yunus Thailand, what they're working on, and what we are trying to do. We are basically trying to tackle the broken system, which is existing system, and we are coming up with a new reality right now through social and environmental consciousness and these are who can participate anybody can participate you don't have to be an academic or a bureaucrat you can be a very uh, very eager social business enthusiast and then you can easily uh, submit your idea and once your idea is selected uh, it will be showcased in uh, in their podium and on the social media outlets of the university as well as the centers and the second thing is which also zina talked about is this has worked miracles in other countries as well which is social business design competitions 
So enthusiasts, young learners, and even entrepreneurs, they get to take part in social business design competition, which is basically uh, a competition where they present their, uh, their business plans. So like any business, you would have a business plan. Similarly, for a social business, because at the end of the day, it is a business, it also had to have a social business plan. So once you share a business plan, it will be guided and judged by a, uh, by a peer of advisors, and they will be given their feedback based on which they will be uh, they can fund their business or they can move into the next level. So if you have regional workshops or uh, local workshops which promotes this building up of work, uh, social business design, design competitions, it will encourage young entrepreneurs to be more inspired about it. And even if you are not participating in the competition, maybe an audience member might come come at this workshop and that is and get inspired and think about a very innovative idea of social business which haven't been thought about and thirdly uh, we can all as Gina said that we have uh, more than 83 YSBCs all around the world globally so if whenever and if ever if you want to do a joint global platform uh, that might be catered around a business competition or any uh, or a or something like a regional idea or a challenge where people from all over the world can come in and talk about social business or what they can do about it, we can, that can always be done. One of the social business day that ha happens annually and the Global Social Business Start, uh, Summit, that those events, which are now global events, that started like a small idea, like many years from now. And ultimately it, it gained traction year by year. So we all need a uh, little spark and a big uh, and a quick idea. And you never know if the stars are aligned, we can, it can, reach a mass level like the social business day has reached right now that's about it from me friends grazie mille hope this was informative thank you so much uh, uh, shiab uh, it was really interesting uh, your slides and your suggestions and i suppose that this is uh, uh, they will be at the center of our uh, discussion internal to the Euro Center, Euro Business Center of Italy. Uh, now I give Thank the you. floor to the first uh, uh, Italian Social Business Center. The representative of Bologna is uh, Giuseppe Professor Giuseppe Torluccio. Please uh, open your microphone and your camera. Yes. Thank you for the invitation. I really appreciate this kind of event and I'm working at the University of Bologna and I would like to introduce what we are doing at the UNO Social Business Center that we opened almost a couple of years ago. Uh, so uh, it was open at the campus in Forlì, very close to the University of Bologna, where we have a pretty large experience in terms of social activities, in terms of master and other training process. Uh, I would like to share my screen. Uh, let's see. Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Yes, we can see. Yes, so that's the place where we base the UNO Social Business Center. So it's pretty close to Bologna. And we, we can show the number of the University of Bologna. So we have a large number of students and we have five different campus. Um, Belong University of Bologna, we have uh, 33 departments and some of them participate with different scholars to the UNO Social Business Center. So there are also some research center that can be provide some useful research in terms of sustainability and in some sense could be related to the social business center activities. Uh, we have a really large number of students and we think that there, there is a large wide interest around the UNUS message because when we started all different kind of activities related to UNUS, we received strong feedbacks from different students. At the same time, we have some degree programs the first cycle, second cycle, cycle, so master degree programs. And we, all, we have also some PhD programs. And we decide to allocate at least one seat of the PhD programs in management to the UNO Social Business Center. So we start a year ago, and these students are working around the social activities and the social entities that are working very close to the UNO's message. So given really large infrastructure, 
And we also work with the different countries in terms of students. So there is a strong attraction from US, but also from other European countries. So what are the main activity based in the UNO Social Business Center? So there is a relation with School of Management and Statistics. Uh, there is a relation with Italian associations that are working on the promotion of culture of cooperation and non-profit. So there are many overlaps between the UNO's message and the cooperation of non-profit entities. So we have a large experience in terms of study related to the cooperation, and we can find some useful overlap between these studies and the UNOS message. So one of the first jobs that we decide to implement in the UNOS Social Business Center in Bologna is try to map different studies and different research that we have done in the last years. And at the same time, we want to put in the same, how to say, database, a different kind of definition that we have in our country uh, related to the social activities try to find the relation with the social business UNUS message. So there are some slight difference, but at the same time, there is a large experience in terms of social activities because the cooperation entities was implemented in Italy, at, I think 50, 60 years ago. So in terms of nonprofit, uh, in terms of the ability to solve social problems. So there are some kind of experience can be used to enforce the UNOS message. So we try to share mission and vision with students of a different level of degree. So we said before the first cycle, the master degree and the doctor programs. There is a research team from different departments because they try to explore this kind of uh, entities from different point of view, from eco department, management department, other departments, uh, they are involved in common projects. Of course, there are teaching and research, but teaching different, different masters. And we have also some small budget for the activity of the center. Uh, in particular, in the last year, we start to do a grant with the Bank of Italy. They try to uh, understand what's going on on microfinance and impact finance. So also this kind of recognition is related to the social business research stream. In terms of academia, we are working on different papers related to the impact finance uh, because we want to try to develop specific studies related to the social business venture funds. So the idea to use equity and debt to finance different kinds of social business. In particular, we can work with the Gramini Italian Foundation that was founded many years ago with Yunus and Professoressa Luisa Brunari. And the Gramini Italian Foundation is more focused on the social farm. So how to implement the social business in agriculture in some place where the people can work in easy way. So not very complicated job, but one kind of Gramin kind of work that can be easily reached from an employment people. Uh, so now we have the three different projects. The first one, map the Italian experience in terms of social business. The second one is work with Bank of Italy to try to design impact finance tools. And the last one, try to understand how to implement the social business venture capital. So we have different uh, people that are coming from different department. And the research team is pretty wide from different departments as well. So I think I use all the time that I have. And I would like also to thank you, you for, uh, thank you for this opportunity. And of course, you can find us on the on the website and you can send some emails so we can share also some projects related to Euro Social Business Academia, where we participate every year in different parts of the world. Uh, well, I think maybe Luisa Brunari would you like to add something because she knows the microfinance from many, many years and she is belong University of Bologna. Thank you for your attention. Thank you a lot to Professor Torluccio. Uh, and now I give the floor to Enrico Testi of the Union Social Business Center of Finance. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Maybe Mr. Professor Torlucci, 
Ascolta, Torruccio mi ha dato la parola, non essere così sgarbato, per favore. No, 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 Luisa, I, I, I will only... Voglio dire una cosa, voglio dire una cosa dopo Torruccio, non ha senso che lo dica dopo, dopo okay, Firenze. Okay, uh, you have the floor, please, intervene you, and after Enrico Testi will conclude, we'll go on with the Union Social Business Center. Okay. Very, very, very kind of you. So what I want to say is, first of all, I think that this idea you had to put together all these people, I think is very clever and good idea that, that I appreciate very much indeed. I started being the, the founder of the foundation that Professor Ruccio was mentioning, and I am, I am in pension now, so I cannot be the vice president anymore, but I have developed an association which is named the Win-Win Association, uh, with which um, that he is connected to the University of Bologna in the sense that we are developing with the educational education um, um, uh, system. No, I don't remember the name of the education department. Um, the project of a course that uh, will will involve also Professor Torruccio, of course, we can, because we are trying to do together things, which is what we believe is the most important. At the same time, I am in the process to work with, uh, I am working with uh, some people of the dedicated to students in the University of Bologna uh, to develop uh, the project, uh, which is the uh, metabolization of uh, the coronavirus story in some way, how much and in which way individually this, uh, this event uh, affected these people and trying to re program themselves for a new future, something very similar to what Yunus uh, is talking about. So I think this is one aspect that we are going to deepen. Another one is the transgenerational relationship that has been put into a very difficult situation during this coronavirus, as everybody knows. And so this is, uh, uh, this is what we are going to do as a post-coronavirus. And I am a psychologist, and I say, uh, I mention that because I think that the psychological aspect has been so deep and so important in all this process. And, um, and because I think that uh, psychology and economics, I have just written a book that uh, I, may, I may have mentioned this already, published by Franco Angeli, which is uh, the ideal society. Yes, I think I told you already, the ideal society, but you cannot see. The idea of society between psychology, neurosciences, and economics looking for a for win-win formula for living together. And uh, this is uh, the philosophy that I, I get from uh, uh, Yunus, uh, pro Yunus uh, what can I say, Yunus, um, uh, I don't, <laughs> Yunus idea, eh, what I think is the base of this. And um, I am very happy because we can share with Professor Torluccio ideas and projects and we can work together in a profitable way. I think that in our group, we should focus on cooperation, not on uh, competition, which sometimes comes out with the exclusion of somebody. And I think this should be a real mistake, totally out of the philosophy of what we want to preach. So first, if we want to preach, first we have, we have to act in a coherent way, otherwise better to leave it. So I thank you so much and say hello to my friend, I don't know whether, and to Curcio, that I, <laughs> I never, I'm never, I'm never able to, f to try to talk to talk to, guarda che, look, guarda che barba Enzo Curcio ha messo su. <laughs> Enzo Curcio, after this meeting you will phone me. You, is it correct? Is it correct? Very good, very good, Luis. You do it. You will do it. Yes, I will do. Okay, I made I make you meet Professor Yunus. So you have to be to be uh, come si dice uomo uomo d'onore. Okay, this is not English. It is more southern than English. <laughs> Understandable. And so I I am very happy to see meet all of you and to the next. Ciao. It's really nice to see you and uh, uh, you're welcome and uh, you will participate to the network that we are going to uh, build up. So uh, yeah. uh, I, I will give the floor to Enrico Testi of the Unus Social Business Center of Florence. Ecco, questo. Hi. Hello, everyone. 
<laughs> yes, Luisa, we hear you. Okay, yes. ciao, ciao. Una, ciao. Another person that I introduced. Another person. Okay, I will, I will shut up. Okay. okay, do you see my presentation? Yes. Okay, good. So, uh, hi everyone. I'm Enrico Testi, the director of the Union Social Business Center of the University of Florence. In fact, we are the first Union Social Business Center in Italy since uh, we met Professor Yunus in 2010 in Milan. This is Professor Bigeri beside a younger version of me. Uh, Professor Yunus looks always the same, which is incredible. Um, and in 2011, we set up the Union Social Business Center at the University of Florence. Uh, we have an ethical and scientific committee uh, formed by a professor uh, of the University of Florence, especially from the economics uh, department of economics and management. Uh, I'm the director, and plus we have a staff of five to eight people, depending on the projects. Uh, our Union Social Business Center is a partnership between the University of Florence, the Union Center, and a company owned by the University of Florence, which means that actually we work like a company. This is something which is a bit different uh, from the usual uh, Union Social Business Centers uh, in the other universities, because we are 100% funded by the works and projects that we do. Uh, therefore, we work a lot. Uh, we do research, training, consulting, and capacity building. We don't work only in Italy. Uh, up to the moment, we have projects running in Palestine, Senegal, and lately we work in Liberia, Senegal, and Tanzania. And we have uh, fruitful collaboration with Spain and uh, Taiwan. Uh, a very big project that uh, we uh, really like because it's one of the most important projects and the uh, most uh, long-running project is the social business city Pistoia. The idea of the social business city is to create an enabling ecosystem for social businesses in a city uh, with different activities and we started in 2012 in Pistoia thanks to the work of the Fondazione Casa di Spagna Pistoia and Pesce and Fondazione Raggio di Luce uh, which uh, it's good to, uh, I mean, to tell it because uh, these two foundations, contrary to what sometimes uh, foundations in Italy do, uh, decided to finance this project uh, since 2012. So we are still doing it and with good results, uh, I would say. Uh, these are the pictures of the inauguration uh, that was in 2012. Uh, in Pistoia. Uh, since 2012, more than 2,000 students, high school students, I, uh, before uh, our friends from the Human Center DACA told us that we should work with high school students, actually we have been doing it since 2012. Uh, and it's a very good uh, project in schools because in seven editions actually we have seen uh, a lot of engagement from young students. Uh, their knowledge has increased from 21 to 80 percent uh, during the classes and most importantly the students that would like to become entrepreneurs in the future uh, at the beginning of the classes were 10 percent at the end were 30 percent uh, so then we have a social business plan competition where we give prizes and we make them travel to Bangladesh was the first year but then Spain uh, Scotland other countries where Union centers are based so that they can actually see social business in other countries, how it, how it works. Um, we also have workshops which are open to citizens in the cities. So uh, since 2012, we involved more than 1,000 people uh, in workshops and trainings on social business. This is an activity we do to spread the idea, but also to actually funnel people inside the startup um, process on social businesses that we have. We have run four editions at the moment. Uh, we received more than 50 ideas. Uh, but of course, from idea to actually create social business, there's a lot of work and effort. So no, not everyone succeeds. We created two social businesses in, in 2017. 
we are still waiting uh, for the four uh, winners of 2018 and 2019 to actually create the social business. Maybe not everyone will be able to. And now we have the new batch of uh, ideas, which is our 15 ideas, which we start now the incubation process. So uh, as you can see, we work on a very practical, in a very practical way. And the nice thing about the Social Business City program is that in 2015, uh, the Social Business Barcelona decided to join uh, the, the Social Business City family. Uh, so they adopted our same logo and more or less the same activities. Uh, and a good uh, impulse for the Social Business City Barcelona has been Tandem Social and a company uh, already providing consulting on social business. Um, another result of the Social Business City Barcelona has been that in, since 2016, they formed the Human Social Business Center Barcelona, which took our same logo to show uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, commonalities between the two centers. Uh, this Human you know, Center is kind of an anomaly uh, as well because it's formed by different universities of Barcelona that decided to join together in the same unit center. Uh, in 2018, uh, thanks to the work of the you know, Social Business Center at National State University and Mark Shen, uh, Taiwan City decided to become Social Business City. So they started doing the activities and they're really doing a wonderful job. I mean, I don't know if Professor Shen is in this call, but he really is doing a great job in uh, fostering social business in Taiwan. Uh, we also work a lot on capacity building, sorry, capacity building. So uh, we are supporting at the moment uh, Bethlehem University in Palestine to set up their Union Social Business Center. Actually, they already set it up in 2017. Uh, we have several projects with them to foster academic research uh, on social business and social enterprise in Palestine. Uh, of course, we are uh, also involved in academic publications. So we have some books we published and we teach uh, social business and social enterprises at the university as well uh, in the course Social Economy and Sustainable Development. I think some of my students might be following uh, now these uh, online classes. Uh, so I've been very fast. So if you have any questions that could be uh, addressed at the end, or you can uh, write me uh, my email address or the uh, email address of the center. We, I assure you, we read all of the email we receive. Uh, maybe it takes some, some time uh, to answer to everyone, but we usually do it. So thank you for your attention. Thank you a lot for all uh, uh, the, the activity that you share with us, uh, that you uh, carry out, uh, carried out uh, uh, during the years. And now I give the floor to Stefano Campostrini of the Uno Social Business Center of Venezia. Good afternoon to everyone, and uh, very pleased to join you in this presentation of the uh, University network of social business uh, in Italy. Uh, we, uh, I think, we are the very last uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, time, and uh, uh, and uh, I will share with with you only the uh, our website that just started. Uh, okay. Okay, now you should see my uh, our uh, website. Uh, we started uh, formally our activity uh, last month, and uh, and so we are very new. But uh, uh, we uh, actually collected an heritage of work on social business that started uh, at the Kaposky University. That is that nice building that you can see uh, just uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, picture. 
uh, on the right side. And uh, we work, we have worked a lot in, at the Kaposki University in the uh, recent year, uh, both on sustainability and uh, on uh, uh, corporate social responsibility. Uh, particularly, the idea of starting a social business started from that work. We conducted a big research among uh, all of the uh, companies working in our region, the Veneto region, and uh, we organized uh, uh, what we call a, the Strategy Innovation Forum, that is a big meeting opened uh, to not only students and researchers, but particularly to all the companies and firms that are working uh, uh, in uh, and are interested uh, in innovation. And the, the subject of that forum uh, that year, this was two years ago, uh, was uh, just the corporate social responsibility. And we have the honor to have uh, uh, as a start uh, uh, Professor Yunus uh, to give uh, uh, his talk. And from that start, the idea of uh, having uh, uh, having uh, uh, a unisocial business also at uh, Kaposky University of Venice. And uh, we do see university has hub, a possible hub for new ideas, and uh, we, uh, we very value what is called our third mission. So beside the training, uh, uh, education training and uh, uh, research, uh, we value the collaboration with uh, all the possible stakeholders uh, in our territory. Um, the other subject on which we work is sustainability. Uh, it declined on, only not uh, 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 only as environmental sustainability, but, uh, uh, but uh, more generally uh, uh, sustainability in uh, all the subject. Uh, to give you an example, uh, we uh, worked a lot at our university on social uh, sustainable development goals and when we write our subjects in in the in our website uh, we uh, uh, do see suggestion in uh, explicitly say if we are working uh, on uh, uh, a social particularly on, this, on this, some uh, sustainable development goal and specify that to make clear of which uh, goal we are working on. So uh, trying to uh, put together this uh, big work that has been done in terms of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, teaching and research about sustainability from one side and uh, uh, corporate social responsibility on the other side uh, started this new uh, new social business center uh, with uh, four main aims uh, uh, the first one is to share uh, nationally and internationally the all the research and ideas that we have developed uh, over these years and uh, to take the opportunity also to link with all the other uh, unit social business and uh, and uh, for for this the second aim is uh, uh, the networking networking with local organization and we already collected a lot of interest from uh, a local uh, organization uh, that are interested uh, to help us and to share with us uh, ideas uh, on uh, on social uh, business social responsibility uh, third aim uh, is that of uh, doing advocacy for social business and uh, so organizing uh, and uh, in two ways organizing event open events to everyone and uh, organizing training activity uh, devoted to both our students and uh, uh, all other people possibly interested the fourth and last uh, following also the experience uh, uh, that you have heard from uh, uh, some uh, uh, social business centers that has more been than us, uh, we would like to offer a support uh, to social business initiatives, uh, particularly uh, uh, opened to uh, young uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, we already have collected the interest uh, of a couple of uh, uh, 
possible uh, uh, new uh, social business activity that could start and uh, we are also working on another one that could uh, be founded by the big company of our region uh, but that would uh, be an international uh, uh, social business and uh, for this we are in contact with the uh, it's Sydney Social Business, uh, Social Business Center of University of Sydney uh, uh, to collaborate uh, to, with. That's all. So uh, we are very enthusiastic of starting this uh, this experience, and uh, we just uh, uh, have been pushed by the ideas of Professor Yunus. Uh, the, our center is in the economic campus. Uh, that is very nice campus downtown uh, downtown venice and so we we are all invited to visit us uh, thank you thank you to you uh, professor campostrini uh, as soon as possible we can uh, keep your uh, invite and you will stay in venice that is a very really uh, nice place as everybody knows uh, the next one is uh, the Professor Elisabetta Reghini of the Union Social Business Center of Urbino uh, with the special effect because they have a video uh, to show us. Yes, I will start a video in a few minutes. Just uh, uh, I wanted to I mean, uh, say uh, hello to everybody. I'm uh, very happy to be here and um, for three reasons, because today is a very special day uh, for our uh, Youth Social Business Center of the University of Urbino. Uh, first of all, because we are joining this gathering of all the Youth Centers, but the second reason is that uh, this is our first anniversary, because exactly one year ago, on uh, May 20, uh, 2019, Professor Yunus uh, came to Urbino to inaugurate our center. And also, this is uh, the uh, first anniversary of the um, <clears throat> contemporary lyric opera, 27 Dollari, dedicated to Professor Yunus and inspired by his book, Banker to the Poor, uh, written by uh, an Italian composer and friend, Paola Samoggia and uh, Rita Forlani. And uh, uh, they uh, created this opera that was uh, uh, presented by the University of Urbino and uh, in uh, cooperation with the Nazionale Italiana Cantanti, who they, they produced the opera, uh, exactly I mean, uh, in Fano uh, one year ago. So I would like to uh, send, uh, um, to show you a very, very short clip of that uh, night, or that evening, and of the inauguration of the, of the opera. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thank you and um, for the applause. And uh, the, the the first interpreter of this opera uh, was uh, the soprano, international soprano Felicia Bongiovanni, 
and she is also the artistic director of our UNO Center. And uh, I give the floor to her for a short uh, um, address of uh, uh, greeting. First of all, thanks and a greeting to all of you. I am very happy to be here as Artix Director of the UNUS Social Business Center in Urbino to try to rebuild a better world together with Professor Yunus. In my opinion, recovering our true human and spiritual values and loving each other, as always it should have been. In this spirit, I would like to announce that after the great work done for the opening of the UNUS Center in Urbino and the preparation of the opera 27 Dollari, for which I thank the composer Paola Samoggia and the Italian National Singers Football Team Association in the person of his general manager, Dr. Giulio Gianluca Pecchini, I would like to announce that I'm working to hand other centers to the large family of the UNOS centers. This time from my beloved land of Sicily, where I was born. One in Palermo with Professor Salvo Cincimino and the other in Messina with the Professor Guido Signorini, whom I greet and thank for having enthusiastically accepted this proposal. Thanks and a warm fraternal greeting also to all of you and to the other UNUS centers of the Italian network. Okay, thank you Felicia, and uh, just uh, to explain what we are doing uh, in Urbino. Uh, in Urbino we uh, pay a lot of attention, we um, recognize great importance to the aspects of culture, art and uh, music of course as a driver for uh, economic development. And this is because we have a special vocation in our city of Urbino. Urbino is one of the most beautiful art cities in Italy and uh, with uh, a lot of uh, tradition in the field of uh, humanities, uh, I mean art and uh, uh, any kind of you know, artistic uh, experience. Uh, so that's why we uh, dedicated so much uh, importance to this, uh, to this aspect, uh, because uh, we have a project that is called Business and Culture, and we think that uh, I mean, culture can be a great stimulus for the economic growth. Also, because uh, uh, culture fosters creativity, and we uh, I mean, try to inspire our students uh, in this uh, sense. Uh, for instance, one of the initiatives that we have uh, organized this, uh, for the second uh, year, this year, uh, was a competition uh, for the students of the School of Ec Economics and Management uh, to um, design and imagine and design a social their social business but we did so using the tool of design thinking design thinking is a technique for solving economic problems utilizing elements from the design toolkit like empathy and experimentation and putting people at the center so design thinking as is a human centered approach uh, to innovation that draws from the designer's toolkit to integrate the needs of people, the possibilities of technology and the requirements of, for business, business success. And uh, um, there's also another reason why we pay so much attention to the topics of art and culture. This is because, as Professor Yunus says, um, uh, where uh, economics, uh, uh, where traditional economic theories fail, is because they consider uh, human beings just uh, uh, driven by the pursuit of profit, and they don't consider humans uh, uh, as um, complicated and uh, uh, multifaceted. 
uh, um, beings. And this is exactly what art and culture do. I mean, they consider human beings uh, as a whole. Uh, in an, I mean, in uh, have a holistic um, uh, way of uh, considering uh, humanity. And so that's why we uh, are so much devoted to these uh, aspects. Um, between the, among the things that we have uh, done these years, I mean, we have uh, started a um, um, co collaboration with the, the uh, National uh, Committee for Financial Education and engage in financial education, uh, sp specifically uh, on uh, the topic of uh, um, microcredit and also oh, we um, started a, a collaboration uh, with the, the uh, um, uh, international institute uh, that is called uh, SPES, uh, S-P-E-S, and uh, is the Institute for Spirituality in Economics and Society. And uh, we, um, I mean, uh, uh, are planning to host uh, um, an international um, uh, congress on uh, the theme of place-based sustainability, ethics and spirituality in Urbino. Unfortunately, we had to postpone it uh, to next year because of the, uh, I mean, of the, 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 the pandemic. But this is a, a great uh, project that uh, we have, uh, uh, I mean, in our, uh, we are going to, uh, to carry on. And uh, um, concluding our uh, the center has a, um, something, uh, a peculiarity. In the fact, it is a center based in a, a law school because we are, um, I mean, uh, part of the Department of Laws. So we are planning to give a, a great uh, uh, importance to the um, topic of uh, the reform of the uh, third sector and the new code for the, of the third sector, considering uh, social business and social entrepreneurship, uh, also from the legal point of view. Uh, I'd like to conclude saying that uh, um, social business that is uh, uh, i mean a branch uh, and of a social um uh, inter enterprise entrepreneurship uh, um can uh, I, I we believe that uh, it can play a great role in uh, solving the problems of this uh, crisis because uh, in history uh, social uh, enterprises um uh, dating back from the Middle Age and uh, the Renaissance and the experience of the Franciscan uh, friars. And, uh, uh, and I would like to, I mean, uh, greet uh, um, uh, Padre Enzo Fortunato. Um, these experiences of social enterprising uh, emerged in, term, in uh, times of great crisis, crisis from uh, the economic, social, ethical point uh, of view, and uh, could give a new impulse to the society for a better new world. So we hope that social business can play the same role also today. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you to you for uh, your presentation and uh, the opera is one uh, uh, our uh, asset in Italy, and so uh, you use uh, very well our assets. Uh, now, at the end, uh, for uh, the Social Business Center, I will give the floor to Ferdinando Di Carlo, and after uh, uh, we, we will go to the last question and uh, Father Enzo Fortunato. Now, oh, the, the last uh, uh, youth center uh, uh, of Basilicata will be introduced by the Professor Ferdinando Di Carlo. Thank you, Valerio. I want, first of all, to thank you all the participants to this online course. That is, we can say, our first uh, activity that we organized in a, this in a particular condition given by the coronavirus crisis. So we can say that uh, our Unis Business Center is the youngest one because we, uh, we have been created in the second half of the 2019. And uh, we can say also that our Unis Business Center has been the most damaged from the uh, coronavirus cause. In the, uh, we should uh, give a, a honorary degree to uh, Professor Yunus on the 6th of March, and we can't do it, the closing the lockdown here in Italy. 
So uh, our idea, so we are the youngest, and so it's quite difficult for us to now to give you a, a complete program of our activities. But we can say that uh, our idea on the uh, program for our Unus Business Center, Social Business Center, is to have a um, very strict uh, collaboration with the City of Peace Foundation that uh, also I want to thank for the organization for the uh, online care and also uh, give a, a sort of uh, attention to the territorial uh, opportunities for, uh, social, for social business. So our idea is to develop the social business here in Basilicata and to try to uh, give new opportunities to the, um, to the, the, the inhabitants of uh, Basilicata. And uh, for us, uh, today is a, a sort of uh, kickoff for our activities. And uh, um, I can say that uh, I hope to, uh, to have a, a collaboration not only with the City of Peace, that are our partner in this experience, and our partner in the Unit Business Center, but also with the, with the other Unit Social Business Center uh, in Italy, but not also. Uh, and uh, I hope to start a uh, proficuous uh, program of activities in the in the second half of the 2020 here hoping that uh, could have a different world after not only in an economic view but also for our uh, uh, social business center so uh, thank you to everyone and uh, hope to uh, have all this participation also in the next uh, in our next activities uh, thank you very much to all of us for you thank you a lot professor ferdinando di carlo and now we have uh, the last few speeches uh, that are really interesting we are honored to have with us the architect mario cucinella the ceo of the uh, foundation enzo cursio and after uh, Father Enzo Fortunato, the director of the president of the Secret Convent of Assisi. Now, now I give the floor to Mario Cucinella and to Enzo Okay, hi, hi, I'm Mario. It's nice to be with all of you and welcome to all the you know, Social Business Center. So, I am, and then thanks to Enzo also, you see I'm on his online, and Valerio. Uh, so I tried to make this presentation. Just, uh, just give me some second. Valentina, and uh, just a second. I will. So first of all, before presenting something, uh, some uh, pictures, some drawings, I would like to give my thought about Betty Williams, which is an incredible, extraordinary woman. So she is really the inspiring person for this project. I'm just putting the images. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Io però non vedo più nessuno. Okay. You see the screen? See the picture? Yes, we see you. Yes. We can okay. see you and we can hear you. Okay, thank you. So inspiring by the great woman, which is you get feeling about the power of this woman when you talk with her. So I was met Betty many years ago with Enzo and she was thinking about a dream. So she talked about this uh, house of peace, house for family with uh, kids came from difficult area. So from that dream, we are really working hard to make that dream real. So, and we, Designed this house and built in Basilicata. Mario, hai uh, delle slide? Yes. Uh, no, non si vedono le slide. Io non le vedo. Penso tu le vedi? No. Valentina. Okay. 
Non riesco a condividere le slide. Eh? Scusa, sorry for a second. Sorry. Se non si condivide questo. No? Ok, qua. Condividi? Scusate. Tutto lo schermo. Metti tutto lo schermo come prima. Allora. E però ah, non vedo bene questo. No, non lo vedo. Are you see that screen? No. Just a second, eh? Sì, adesso sì. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry for that. So, uh, back from this uh, amazing story meeting uh, Betty Williams and uh, try to make his dream true and building this house in Basilicata and the foundation for the Fondazione della Pace per i bambini in Basilicata. So, I think the dream was how we can build a house for kids with never living in a peace. So, I think the idea was to creating a sort of a family village where the people and families and kids they can live in peace and also in relation with nature so i think what the betty said was there's still 400,000 children die per day and 40 million to healthy so this is seen to me on a huge a dimension of <coughs> with kids so this, this idea was a uh, share with the uh, with Enzo and with the Fondazione, and uh, thinking about how we can design a house for kids. So, and uh, if you ask to any kids in the world to design a house, they design this. And I think house is the first step of welfare. So when you build a house, you give a, a roof for families. This is the first step to take care about people. No? And normally, what we, what the, what the West world design house for this kind of uh, population is always a very cheap, very basic, you know, because that's the only thing we can give to them. You know? So I thought the idea was to build something nice, something good, something related to yeah. the, the environment. And also, buildings are some, some, in some way also. Uh, part of education. Now, if you're living in a nice building, the building tells you something. And also, I think design a building, a good building is give dignity to people. So, which I think that was the main goal of this project. No? So, the idea, the sketch was to design like uh, leaves on a trees, you know, this kind of a main axe, horizontal, and these uh, houses, it looks like leaves from a, a main branch of a tree. And the place is beautiful because all around is, a, is a full of um, fruit trees. You know? In this season, it's all white with flowers. So I think it was really a great place to build a house to make people live in peace and find a, a, a good relation with nature. Oh, and that's what we thought was the shading system. No, it's like a leaves to protect the building. No? So when we presented this project in, uh, in uh, Matera, or I think or always many years ago, <laughs> and uh, also thanks to donators and uh, donors, so um, the two industrial, uh, uh, very important people in, in, in Matera, So we thought it was uh, like to, to a butterflies, you know? like you see in this sketch in the red, you know? and the butterflies touch the house and protect the house from the sun. You know? And that was the design, you know? it was like a flower, the roof is a protecting roof, and under this roof, which is shading, because we are in the south of Italy, we need a lot of protection, because the house is simple, but 
because it's simple doesn't mean it's not working well. So, and the, the house is shading is a little courtier in the middle. No, there will be a really common space uh, here, this family meet togethers. And so, and that is the pictures of the models. No? And I, I think this, for me, it was an, a very, very important experience to give to the people the maximum our knowledge. So how we can give to these families the best we can do in terms of design, in terms of performance, and make them live in a, in a, in a decent and, and quality space. So, and this is the pictures of before built. I like the idea that building is simple, but take a care about nature. So we're collecting water, we can explain it to kids how important this relation with nature. We need to, in, uh, need to help kids to face in the challenge for the future. So they need to understand better what kind of relation we can, we can design with nature. So, and, uh, oops, sorry. And so based on some very simple principle, but these principles are coming from thousand years ago, you know, like how we can ventilate in a house, how we don't use a mechanical system, but only using natural resource. You know? So how we can collect the waters. Water is important because we can use in the house, but also for irrigation. Shaded the building, ventilated in a very incredible and beautiful place. Climate, it can help us. And I think the message we want to do is the future is, uh, some of the future is also hiding in our past, you know, in our knowledge, you know. Thousand year of architecture leave us a little message because design and build, building with energy is very recent in our culture, you know, only 200 years. But we did for thousand years working with nature, working with uh, energy which is outside, is the sun, is the raining, is the humidity, is the wind. So. I thought the challenge we have in front of us is about sustainability. We talk about how to make building with no energy, how we can design city with no pollution. So I think we did that for many centuries. So also a small buildings tell you a story about our history. No? So this sketch is very simple, but very effective because we can design building very comfortable without using any mechanical system but only by the design. So design is the tools for the future. No? And this is some picture of the building which is finished. So I think we almost finished, I think. Valerio is there and Enzo, but I think uh, we open soon, we give this uh, house to families and also creating, start to create the first community in this uh, area to start to do maybe more houses and uh, and uh, hosting more people. So I think that is the, the project. And uh, I want to thanks to Fondazione, Enzo, and Valerio for uh, all the effort we did. It was not easy work to do until now, but we, I think we are almost on the end. So Enzo, you want to do something? You want to tell something? Yes, I just want to, to add more about the foundation. But first, first of all, I would like to to greet everybody and uh, to thanks everybody. I think that uh, this is a fantastic family gathering of Professor Yunus, because uh, this also, as also Luisa, Professor Luisa Brunori said at the beginning, we uh, are the result, the 20 years and more result of the activities of Professor Yunus in Italy. So we are the result and we take also a huge responsibility for the next decade about uh, uh, what can, uh, what the people can uh, can benefit from. The, 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 the. Um, but I want to start about um, something. The, why we can speak about city of peace and social business? This is the first topic. I would like to highlight that the uh, um, Nobel Peace Laureate uh, Betty Williams, uh, when at the beginning talks to a city of peace uh, in Basilicata, she started by a concept that now we call social business, but at the time it was a win-win solution. So um, 
she thought that migration has to be opportunity to, to the host country. The host country cannot uh, need to, uh, to welcome only. The migrants and people are to be uh, resources for local community, but also for the community outside, but also for the migrants community uh, from the uh, origin of the countries of the people that they are of in the city of peace who rebuild peace in that country and i remember always uh, a suggestion when we can build the city of peace we have to think uh, always to a win-win solution this uh, perspective was very close to the perspective of social business uh, that was then asked by Professor Yunus. And uh, this is also the core of, uh, um, uh, of the topic where we can build a sustainable peace, a permanent peace, a peace that combines the, the knowledge of the Western countries, of the richest countries, but also combine the culture and the knowledge of the uh, of the countries that are affected by war or by a big economical crisis. So, with this combination of elements, uh, we build this city of peace. Uh, um, the project started in 2003 when Basilicata uh, was a victim of a. Uh, <laughs> was a victim of a government proposal to host nuclear waste in Scanzano Ionico. And at that time, more than 100,000 uh, Basilicata citizens decided to organize a massive protest against the government, including public authorities and politicians. It was the first time that politicians uh, um, had the same goal of the common people. It was a an impressive an impressive protest and this protest was le led by the last time by the nobel peace laureates uh, betty williams they decided from rome to come to basilicata and to support the protesters and um, at the end we won and uh, the government withdrew the the proposal and betty asked to the region of basilicata to uh, destinate this land not to nuclear waste anymore, but to protect children from war area. This is, was the beginning of the city of peace. Uh, the project uh, um, was expanded in two areas, not only Scansano Ionico, but also in, uh, um, in Sant'Arcangelo, that is another small city of almost 3,000 uh, people in Basilicata. And uh, uh, until now, the project hosted more than 300 refugees and migrants, uh, principally from, uh, from Africa, where, uh, in the, from places affected by wars, and uh, uh, from Afghanistan, uh, from, uh, from Iraq. I still remember this family of five people that were, uh, came from Fallujah. They were Palestine refugees first, in Iraq, in Fallujah, and after the, the, the war in 2003, the Iraqi war, they, were ref they arrived in Palermo, they were sent to Stockholm, to Sweden, and after uh, we, we capped from the national program of uh, refugees uh, of the Minister of Interior, and we host finally in the city of peace, and now the whole family, the whole family, uh, live in Turin uh, in a very happy way. So um, we had a very fantastic memories of this of this uh, first welcome, and also very fantastic memory of the win-win solution. I still remember the the the, um, the fact that in Sant'Arcangelo uh, were not open some class at the elementary school. When new children arrive in the in the town they were able to reopen the elementary school, classes in the, in the elementary school. And also the local population, they, they face the advantage to host migrants in the little town. 
I remember also that the Sant'Arcangelo, the Sant'Arcangelo football team uh, was able also to pass the category, the annual category of the football championship, thanks to a, a fantastic uh, foot, uh, football player from Nigeria that was a host of City of Peace. And many other uh, great stories of this win-win uh, uh, adventure. So uh, that that Nobel laureates Betty Williams created and encouraged to pursue. And um, so this is the city of peace. Now we can continue, we can continue in a strong way to, um, to follow the direction of Betty. Also, we want to integrate this now with the teaching of Professor Yunus, because the first thing, wants it to uh, the, the first challenge that we have in the next few years is to show how migration can delete unemployment we live in a region where they, they for many many decades uh, we had the most high rate on an youth unemployment we are high uh, education a uh, youth with a very high level of education but also with the, a very high unemployment rate and uh, we would like a real show how migration and local uh, and local people can defeat unemployment and social business and a social business program a comprehensive and experimental social business program in basilicata could be a huge challenge in this matter uh, with Professor Yunus three years ago, we started uh, to discuss with the regional government uh, to um, evaluate the possibility to have a regional fund to um, start a, um, little experiments in some towns in Valdagri, in, uh, uh, in uh, the province of Matera, and uh, um, because we wanted, we wanted. Um, we wanted to start a program with a peculiarity, um, uh, the peculiarity characteristic of, the, of our region and combine this characteristic with the experiences they had already done in Bangladesh. We hosted also Professor Latifi that went to visit our region to see if uh, uh, this plan can be uh, feasible. And, uh, and we were so enthusiastic. Um, I'm sure that uh, this kind, uh, this kind of plan can be implemented with the help of the, uh, with the help of the uh, Basilicata University and the regional, the actual regional government too. Um, we discussed also last month before the lockdown happened. The lockdown happened. We discussed also with the minister, with the minister of the South about this topic. Uh, just to focus a comprehensive social business plan in Basilicata with the help of Basilicata universities was very enthusiastic. We discussed, we started to discuss uh, uh, a possible plan to propose also to the region, but uh, unfortunately, lockdown happened and the meeting, uh, the, the following, following meeting was stopped. And, um, but we are, we want to we want to um, again to propose this in the at the end of the um, at the end of the um, emergency situation i think at the middle of june beginning of july um, so i don't want to speak uh, anymore because i spoke a lot until now i know that there is father enzo fortunato after me that is uh, one of the uh, the most followed uh, heart personality in our country and i would be really inspired by his words thank you again to everybody and i hope to see you soon also to uh, to um, this is an appeal to all of social business centers of italy and academia to to um, to exchange ideas and proposal for uh, for uh, uh, to look forward for next steps of the social business in Italy, not only in academia side but also in the Italian society. Thank you very much. Thank you to you uh, a lot and also to Mario uh, for 
your uh, uh, speech and uh, maybe uh, just a little uh, just yes, a yes, little comment. Yes. I, I think inspiring by also this uh, you know social business this project was made with the idea that the architecture is a social business so I quite like the idea that is an economy as a social business but also architecture is one of the fundamental you know construction of habitat for people and working in this idea that architecture will be transforming in a social business especially in the growth of the city and helping people creating habitat will be very very interesting and exchanging with you all of you some ideas okay, thank you thank you very much for this excuse me if you add uh, uh, architecture May I add psychology that I think that is at the basis of all this process? Can we talk yeah. about that? Can we uh, have yes, a meeting? Sure. Could we have I'm, a meeting? I'm an Enzo, but I'm okay. Enzo. No, no, but I am a psychologist. And so why don't we generate a meeting focusing on this aspect? This but will be I, very important. Yes, Thank I you. That, uh, all of the topic, including psychology, has to be evaluated because because uh, you know, uh, social business is a human, a human, not humanitarian. is a is a human philosophy, and as a human integrated, the psychology is a, one of the most important topics. Of course, we can do at the same. Uh, we we can do next time. Now I'm just wants to uh, focus at the end of the meeting because I think okay. Renzo has to has to go. Thank you so much. I was just to add one thing about Mario. Mario founded after the meeting with Yunus SOS, the School of Sustainability. Is the first. So, uh, uh, and so, so two yes. seconds. The, first idea, Sisi. Uh, 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 Mario was inspired by Yunus teaching. Okay, I can give the floor to 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 Father Enzo. Thank you, Father Enzo. Uh, good evening. Uh, from Assisi, good evening uh, at uh, all of you. And um, for me, it's a very, very pleasure to uh, to take my little thing in uh, our um, conversation. I have uh, Alessia Antonielli that translate for me because I think it's better because my English is not very nice, not very good. Um, so, uh, hi, hi to everybody. Eh, io vorrei dire tre cose per quanto riguarda l'intervento un po' sul titolo che mi avete affidato, un nuovo approccio economico. I would like to say three things about uh, the topic you, you gave me uh, about a new uh, economical approach. Uh, la prima cosa è pensare che Papa Francesco ha scelto Assisi per una svolta culturale, sociale, economica eh, nel mondo. Uh, lo ha scelto con il nome, prendendo il nome del santo di Assisi, e lo ha scelto con una... Um, con un imprint, con un'impronta molto forte, dicendo... Uh, ad Assisi convoco tutti i dottoranti in economia per dire al mondo che un nuovo processo economico è possibile. Um, I would, first of all, I would start with, uh, with the name of Pope Francis, why he chose uh, this name and took the name from the saint uh, Saint Francis. He did it uh, starting uh, from Assisi and uh, trying to do uh, a big change, uh, a kind of uh, renovation of, of the world. Um, in particular, uh, about a cult cultural, cultural uh, uh, change, a social change, economical change uh, around, uh, or around the world. Uh, and then, uh, in particular, about the economy, we will have uh, we will have here in Assisi in November um, a big gathering, a big meeting uh, with uh, all the all the young uh, um, uh, researcher and uh, entrepreneur uh, around the world about to find a new kind of economy, a new kind of uh, Franciscan economy uh, that could change the world, starting 
from uh, the young, uh, the young person, uh, the the people who have uh, the world in the hand in this uh, in this moment. It will be the, the whole future. Credo che questo avvenga perché il Papa non si fida più dei grandi dell'economia, ma punta tutto sui giovani. This is because uh, the Pope doesn't trust anymore about the big, that one who are considered the big of the economy right now, but uh, uh, he will, uh, will have uh, the, his, um, uh, his hope on the new generations. Allora ci dobbiamo porre tre domande sulla scelta di Assisi. We have to, to give three, we have to start with three questions about why he chose Assisi. Quando nasce l'economia francescana? When starts the Franciscan economy? Perché nasce l'economia francescana? Why it starts? E come nasce l'economia francescana? And how it starts? Questo non è pauperismo, no? Ma è uh, una, una proposta diversa. This is not, this is not just po about uh, uh, poverty, uh, but it's a um, new, new, pro new, new proposal. Yeah. New proposal. Yeah. Allora, l'economia francescana nasce nel 1400, qui uh, in Assisi, uh, con la fondazione di due istituti, potremmo dire, bancari, il, uh, i Monti Frumentari e i Monti di Pietà. The Franciscan economy starts uh, here in Assisi uh, around the 15th uh, century uh, with uh, two kinds of institutions, the wheat bank and uh, the, the pawn shop. Um, Eh, I primi davano del, del denaro a tasso zero e i secondi davano uh, invece dei semi per poter coltivare la terra alle persone povere. Ok, the, the pawn shop just give a, a little amount of money to, to, the, to the poor people uh, instead of the, the wheat bank uh, where were used to to um, uh, lend the seeds uh, for uh, for the for the crop of the, the next year the, the, the next year yeah. uh, questa economia nasce della seconda domanda perché c'erano delle forti disuguaglianze uh, this economy starts uh, because there were very big inequalities on a society Il come è dare fiducia all'uomo. And how it starts and how it develop, it, it was uh, because uh, the people give the trust to other people. It's based on trust. Questo processo ha innescato un modello di società diversa da quello che c'era, quindi è stato rivoluzionario nel suo tempo. This process... Uh, uh, gave to the to uh, the society of that time a new kind of uh, society, a new perspective. Oggi, con l'incontro che noi vivremo uh, il prossimo novembre con 2.300 giovani sparsi in tutto il mondo, vedremo delle modalità. Io sono personalmente convinto che innescheremo un circuito e una modalità diversa di vivere l'economia. Non un'economia che uccide, ma un'economia che salva. This uh, event, this uh, new event that we will uh, attend in, uh, we will have in uh, November with the 2,300 uh, um, young entrepreneur and, um, and uh, uh, students uh, will give uh, a new vision, uh, with uh, a new vision on... Uh, on an economy, with the, an economy that will not kill, cinema, ma fa vivere l'uomo. But gives uh, uh, life to, to people, opportunities. E sono convinto e concludo che questo processo che il Papa sta instaurando e sta immettendo qui in Assisi sarà un processo irreversibile. And this kind of process 
that the Pope uh, is uh, going to realize here in Assisi um, will be will be not uh, not reversible. No. Okay, I, I don't know if I was clear. My yes, absolutely. It was a really interesting point of view. And uh, and uh, I'm happy that Yunus will be part of this kind of process. Because the Pope called him to be uh, one of the keynote speaker of this event. So, uh, thank you so much, Father Enzo. Uh, you are, uh, we are honored of, of your presence here, and uh, um, oh, uh, we hope uh, uh, that maybe uh, the Uno Center of Italy could be involved in this process uh, uh, with the Professor Yunus and with the, uh, uh, the Sacred Convent of Assisi. Um, I don't know if there is some uh, answer, uh, some question for uh, Father Enzo, if someone uh, is interested to uh, have some answer. Uh, from, uh, if not, we, uh, we can uh, end this session, that is the last session of this uh, uh, online course. I think that was very uh, a very good occasion for all of us, and uh, we will uh, continue uh, with the uh, uh, network uh, of the Euro Social Business Center, and we will involve also, uh, will include also this idea from Luisa, from Mario, from uh, Padre Enzo that are external to the network, but we we can we can try to include in our uh, programs and in our activities. I will give uh, uh, the last word to uh, uh, Giuseppe Romaniello, uh, that is uh, for the University of Basilicata, and after uh, a big hug to all of you. I was very touched when uh, Mario showed the picture of uh, Betty. Uh, she will, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, if uh, she was there, uh, she will really happy of this. Uh, 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 meeting and uh, she will give uh, her hug to you. Uh, I'm sure of that. So uh, the last uh, word for uh, the, the conclusion to Giuseppe Romaniello. Io saluto intanto tutti e poi saluto l'amico Enzo Cursio, ma anche l'architetto Cucinella che domani sarà qui in Assisi. Eh, quindi eh... Grande festa! <ride> Ciao Enzo! Ah, ogni ci vediamo domani, ci vediamo eh, domani. E proprio l'architetto ci vediamo domani per un grandissimo progetto bellissimo su Assisi. I want just to say hello to everybody and thanks to my friend Enzo Curzio and uh, the architect uh, Cucinella that will be with us tomorrow for a big uh, project, uh, project that we will have here in Assisi. Non lo dite a Tenzo Curso, se no quello si presenta domani poi, eh? <laughs> Valerio, maybe uh, there are some questions uh, uh, from the audience. Uh, I don't know if you want to check it. Uh, I've checked it, but nobody speaks. <laughs> ok, ok. <laughs> So this is the uh, the last step of uh, our uh, cycle of uh, conferences, but uh, uh, not last uh, in truth, because uh, uh, we can work together after this cycle. I hope so, and uh, I want to underline another time. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you to the partners. Uh, thank you for uh, for our new vision. Uh, uh, we can build together a network, a strong network for uh, the future uh, challenges. So uh, this is a very brief uh, 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 goodbye, and uh, see you another time. As possible. Uh,
to work together uh, on the social business. Uh, in uh, Unibus, we are uh, we was very honored to organize with the, the uh, foundation uh, Città della Pace uh, this cycle. Uh, I think uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, beautiful step to starting. So, uh, have a, a good future together. Excuse me, uh, may, I say one, may I say the very last, 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 please have a look to the book that I have written, because it is absolutely based on the principle we have been talking about. And siamo tutti italiani, non so perché parliamo tutti in inglese come delle papere. There are some people from uh, Yunus Sender or Dhaka. Ah, Dhaka, okay. Anyhow, please take the book. Be, be gentle and or let us have an opportunity to discuss the book together because uh, all we are many of the things we are talking about here are are included in this way of thinking and it is a win-win this is what i'm saying as enzo was repeating win win way of living and this is in some way based on the assumption that oikos nomos means the rule of the family home means the mindset means the relational system that's why it's so important the psychological aspect of the story please give a look to that and i would like so much to have the opportunity to talk about that um make me happy please thank you so much luisa for sure uh, we will invite you in some other conference and we will involve you in the process of uh, the building of the network as i told you I appreciate a lot your enthusiasm and your uh, vision. So, thank you very much. Thank you so much, thank you so much to all of you, and uh, see you the next time. Uh, it was a very, uh, really big experience for all of us, and I hope that we can uh, see you uh, uh, live uh, the next time when uh, this uh, crisis will end. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.